Hi everyone, um, hope you're keeping safe and well. Um, I am, well I've just got the script. <gasps> the blade is unbleached and I've just matched it all up and did all my little colourings. Um, oh my god, I've got a lot of lines to learn. Um, but it made me think about my journey with whole truck theatre and I wanted to share the story with you in the hope that for anybody else out there who's either going through um, an eating disorder or, or any um, mental health um, illness that recovery is possible and you can achieve your dreams. So. I was at college um, and I was a bit of a mess, but I met a guy called Lee Green, who was my tutor. And despite me being a mess <clears throat> with um, struggling with the eating disorder, <clears throat> I'd be in hospital and I'd be in eating disorder units and then uh, they put me on Prozac and that was messing with me. And then I was a liability because I was drinking too much and I was just going off the rails. and just generally not in a good place. <clears throat> but Lee, for whatever reason, kept giving me chances and support. And I'll never forget that. And um, anyway, I left college and, and, you know, things went downhill and I had um, some horrible stuff that happened, which triggered the disorder even more. Uh, I had a heart attack, bowel prolapse, like you name it, it all just went, it all just went wrong. Um, but then, you know, mum and dad were amazing, um, some decisions were made and it helped me take that next step to be accountable for what was going on. And also I found a therapist who talked to me as a human being and we really looked at the underlying issues because that's what an eating disorder is, it's a mental health illness and food isn't the cause, it's the symptom. Um, and bit by bit, I started to, to piece together and started to get my, my footings and, and understand what had been going on and how I was going to move forward. And eventually, I was discharged from therapy. I used to go and see her three times a week. God. Um, I was discharged from therapy and I started to get my life back together. And I thought, right, I'm going to go for my dreams now. I'm going to go for drama school. And went for it, went for it, got to the final, like, I think it was the final 100 at the Guildhall School of uh, Music and Drama, and I didn't get in. Um, devastated, devastated. And um, then I also nearly got into uh, another drama school, but they were saying that I didn't have a lot of experience and I needed to, um, I needed to sort of have more professional credits and stuff like that and I was like well how do I do that when I've just come out of like hospital and psychiatric units like hello um so I was a bit I was a bit down and I, I'd started working again in terms of like I think I'd got a job in retail and I was doing another cafe job and I think I was working three different jobs to try and pay for auditions and drama school um fees and stuff uh, to keep trying for the next year anyway mum one day bumps into Lee Green my old tutor from um Hull College and he said you know I was Gemma doing and she said you know she's she's doing great god love her but she just hasn't had that break yet she needs some work experience behind her within the industry and she was gutted because she didn't get through because of this and blah 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 Lee said well tell her to give me a call so I gave Lee a call and it just so happened that he was working with Hull Truck Theatre and he was putting on a TIE tour, a theatre and education tour of John Godbear's teachers. And would I be interested in doing it and playing Gail? Um, hello. I think I cried for like a day. I was scared. I cried because I was scared, but I cried because I couldn't believe that someone was giving me this opportunity. And with the help of my amazing doctor back then, Dr Barnes, um, he helped me, I, I was determined, I wanted to come off the Prozac, I wanted to come off the antidepressants, my choice, I just wanted to be, I wanted this to be my, my chance, and I did, and Lee knew I was coming off them, and he was amazing, and I did the tour, and I met John Godbear, and like, this is the John Godbear that I'd watched since I was like, what, 10 years old was the first time I went to see a John Godbear production, at the whole truck theatre like this is like what i'd grown up with this is my dream 
to work and meet John Godbert and work for Hull Truck Theatre. And um, that was when I was 20, I want to say 22, 23, so what, 15 years ago. And now finally, I get to be on that main stage at Hull Truck Theatre. My point of sharing that story is that things don't just happen. Sometimes there's time and there's a journey and there's it doesn't just land in, in our laps. Like people might look at me and go, yeah, she's she's playing Shelley in Ladies Unleashed at Old Truck Theatre and well of course she is because you know she's off the telly. No, 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 no. It's not about that. It's not about that. It's about the fact that I was right for the role, number one. But also, I did have to wait 15 years to get that chance to play one of the leads at Hull Truck Theatre on the actual stage, you know? But then going back even further, that's always been my dream, and I thought the eating disorder had, had scuppered it. I thought my health issues and my mental health issues had, had ruined all of that, and it hasn't. Recovery is possible. Keep focused on you and your dreams and what you want and whether that's to, to to sweep the stage or be on the stage or whatever that is you can do it um but yeah I just wanted to share it because I just thought if you're feeling like I used to feel that there's no light at the end of the tunnel trust me there is you matter and if you need support we're here at Seed